I'm being tested on that, right? I have to walk out on that faith and I have to trust that God's will be done. Thanks for clicking on Simply Tanika. I am Tanika. If you are new here, welcome. Hit that subscribe button. Let's hang out a while. If you are returning, welcome. What's up, fertility fam? We gotta do what? Let's get those babies, ladies. I see the crystal raindrops fall and the beauty Good morning, Fertility Fam. How are you? I hope you are well. Today is Tuesday, the 20th of November. I'm leaving Blues, I'm headed to the Aries, and I'm doing a scan today. If you are new here, welcome. Let me know what brings you. Drop it down in the comments below. If you are returning, welcome back. What's up, Fertility Fam? Ah, oh, yeah, so, scan day today. I'm going to get my follicles measured, counted, uterine lining counted, and then they'll take my blood work and they'll call me back later with my E2. I think when my, if all six of them mature, my E2 will be something like 750 or something like that. If we do 150 on average per follicle. Um, I think my E2 is increasing just because I have a lot of cervical mucus. It's not egg white. It's still um, more, I don't know, it's more like wet it's not quite slippery yet if that makes sense um and it's still got like a white look to it so it's a little looser than school blue i guess is the best way it's on its way to egg white but not quite egg white so but anyway that's a good sign because that means it's increasing as that estrogen increases then it'll trigger luteinizing hormone we don't want it to trigger it yet but definitely keeping an eye on that cervical mucus and my cervix is softening i would say it's not soft it's not hard so medium this is what we got right in the middle and it's still kind of low so we shall see we shall see but other than that yeah it's two days from thanksgiving here in the u.s and i've been hanging out at blues i have the two weeks off so that's nice it's very relaxing i'm feeling better oh my god i was on my ass for the last two days. I got sick on Sunday and I didn't start feeling better probably till one o'clock this morning. I was running a fever, 100.3. So of course I go to Dr. Google and see if anyone else has had a fever when they were stimming. Luckily there were some ladies in the message boards who were like, I did, I'm pregnant, everything's good. There's always, but I think the message boards are like that. You can find a horrific story about how it went all wrong and you can find a great story about um, it was fine. I just need one that went fine, and I'm good with that. So, <laughs> gives me hope. All right, I don't know who's seeing me today because my doctor's on vacation. It'll be either the PA or the chief resident has been giving my notes, which is interesting, it's kinda cool. But we'll see when I, or not chief resident, chief surgeon, chief endocrinologist, somebody who's in charge. All right, I'm gonna head to the subway. Talk to you guys when I get there. Bye. <laughs> hey fam, all right, I've made it to the Ari's office and here's what we've got. Um, my lining is 8.5 and triple stripe, which is awesome. So it's growing appropriately. I was worried because it was 6.5 the last two times, so that looks fine. Left over, we have a 16 and a 14 and right over we have a 15 that look like they're growing. So I have those three. I need a minimum of three to move forward with egg retrieval. So it looks like we're in the clear there. Um, fingers crossed that they keep going. I talked to her about the fever and she said it's okay. Um, 100.3 is just under the threshold what they consider like a medical fever so 100.4 would have been a medical fever she said just to keep them posted if i have any sniffles or congestion or anything like that because i won't be able to go under anesthesia so i need to monitor that but i'm feeling better and i haven't felt congested it was just the fever and tired so i think i did the right thing by resting and drinking lots of fluids <sighs> all right and then i've got to get my blood work done and then they'll call me and let me know next steps i'm well how are you doing Thank you. So, wait, now you're all stuck. Everything is looking good so far. Dr. Corbin reviewed your results, and we want you to 
going to continue on the same dose of medication tonight, so the three injections. Okay. Just wanted to confirm with you, um, you're taking Gommel S 450 units and the Medicare 150 units, which are the two powder vials to one ML of water. Yep. Plus the central head injection, that one injection. Yeah. Wonderful. So it's to continue that tonight and return back to our office tomorrow morning for more blood work and ultrasound, okay? Okay, tomorrow morning. All right. What was my E2? It is 234. 234, okay. Alright, so what time would you like to come in tomorrow? I can help schedule that appointment for you. Um, sure. What are my options? We have, let's see, tomorrow 21st, um, we have 7 to 745 open, and then we have from 815 to 915 available. Can I do 915? Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Alrighty, thank you. Very wonderful. You're very welcome. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Alright, so... E2, 234, um, so they're not quite mature when, so now as we get closer to maturation, we're looking at 200 per oocyte, um, per follicle, or before we were looking at 100. So hopefully I'll end up with three, which means my E2 needs to be closer to 600. But they're having me come in tomorrow, continuing my meds, so we'll see. I don't know what any of that means, guys. I just know, like, I'm trying to visualize that we make it through maturation, we make it through retrieval, we make it through fertilization, and then growth. Like, that's what I'm focused on right now. So, we'll see. We'll see. I had predicted I would go back Thanksgiving, and then Friday, and then have retrieval on Sunday, but it looks like retrieval might be on Saturday now, so. There you go. We shall see. <laughs> All right, I am, yeah, I'm gonna go do some research. I'll come back and give you guys an update. I've been looking at some stuff, but I don't have any conclusions yet. Um, I was waiting on this last E2 to come in, so. There you go. <laughs> Talk to you in a bit. Somebody pray for me. Hey fam. All right, so. <clears throat> It's hours later. I've done tons and tons of research. I found nothing conclusive. I'm going to stop researching. I'm just going to pray. This is the what I know. I had a fever. It was 100.3. The cutoff for moving forward with retrieval is 100.4. Anything 100.4 or over, they cancel. Cold, stuffiness, congestion, they cancel. So I missed that bullet. I don't have that three follicles gets me to retrieval anything less than that cycle gets canceled so i'm on the side of not getting canceled i am going to thank god for those blessings and i'm going to continue to pray because reading all the stats and seeing who had a failed cycle who didn't have a failed cycle what the e2 is what it's not helpful it's not helpful and I think sometimes we get caught up in that in our TTC world of like we need more information and it's not necessarily good and right now I could just feel myself ruminating and so I just had to let it all go I don't have any more information than I had before and I have to have faith I have to step out on faith because I could read until I'm blue in the face but nothing is written about how my cycle is going to end nothing is written about what God has planned for me so I, I just gotta have faith I gotta step out on faith so thank you for all of you who are praying for me who are keeping me in your thoughts who are lifting me up um, for carrying me when I am weak God has got this and that's what I have to remember at the end of the day I've, I've said it all along May God's will be done, and there has to be divinity in it. So now I'm being tested on that, right? I have to walk out on that faith, and I have to trust that God's will be done, and I have to accept his will once it is done. So that's where I am. Which seems kind of heavy, but it's also so freeing, because I don't need to search the internet for an answer. It's not there. 
I just gotta relax. I gotta drink all the water, eat all the good food, continue taking my supplements, continue being prayerful and hopeful and faithful. That's all. So I'll talk to you ladies tomorrow. I have another scan in the morning and blood work and we'll see how things are progressing. It could be scan tomorrow, scan Thursday, which is Thanksgiving, um, trigger Thursday, retrieval Saturday, or any variation thereof. We'll see. I'm just going to pray. I'm just going to pray. We get to retrieval. We get some mature eggs. We get some fertilized eggs. Visualizing the process. That's all I can do right now. On that note, I'm gonna wrap up. I'm gonna go relax. I've got some nice, um, it's not soy, it is coconut milk ice cream. Cause I can't have any dairy until after IVF. So I'm doing coconut milk ice cream dipped in coconut milk chocolate, or it's almond milk. I think it's almond milk ice cream dipped in almond milk chocolate. Cause I'm not having any dairy. So I'm gonna go treat myself to that and um, watch some movies with Blue and um, just relax until my 9.15 appointment in the morning. Talk to you tomorrow, ladies. Bye. Mm. Baby, that's to us all. To make those rainbows in my mind When I think of you sometime And I want to spend some time with you